firstly in the mornings I have two of the infant girls and a P3 boy and I teach them literacy in the Garville setting. So one of them hears and speaks quite well just with hearing aids so the sign just supports his language learning and one of the children is profoundly deaf so it's about teaching her sign acquisition of language at the same time as beginning to <coughs> you know teach her how to read and write and things as well and then another one of the children is a mixture of the two she's got cochlear implants so she is accessing sound and sign um, so as time goes on we'll see which mm -hmm. she needs more of but I think probably always a mixture of the two. I think part of our job really is kind of bridging both the English language and British Sign Language together because some of our learners um, are profoundly deaf or some of them are British Sign Language users and so predominantly some of us teach through British Sign Language when we're delivering the curriculum um, and when we adapt it for them we adapt it through British Sign Language rather than through the English language sometimes. Um, some of our learners again can access some, some element of sound so um, it's about bringing both languages together, so where it be like a lesson on English, where we have to teach our English concept through sign language. And it's about building both, both the foundations for both language of English and for British sign language, because it's so important for deaf children to uh, not only be able to read English and write in English, but it's really important for them actually to be able to use sign language and to communicate in sign language as well, because predominantly when children leave, school and they make friendships and relationships predominantly it will be with people that depend on their use of language and, and that use yeah. British Sign Language or English so it's in important or, yeah. for both. In order for them to meet further qualifications as education goes on as well they do need to have a strong understanding of English they can't just be BSL so even if that is their first language or the, fam the language that they would prefer to communicate in in order to go on to high school and further education that that's got to be a real solid understand working knowledge mm -hmm. of English. And, and often we encourage our children to kind of be ambassadors for their own language to teach like Phoebe in, in primary six who teaches um, her class sign language because um, it's so important to take ownership of your own language yep. and to expose others others to it. Yep. Um,